LightFunnels allows you to connect your own domain names to your account in order to preserve your branding on your funnel links. Let's see how you can configure your domain name connection to LightFunnels. Before we start, it's important to know the difference between your main domain name and the subdomains. The domain name is typically the name that you have bought from your registrar. In this example, it's example.com. A subdomain is anything that prefixes your domain name. In this example, it's funnels.example.com. Now, if the only purpose of your domain name is to use it for your funnels, then you can connect your main domain name to LightFunnels. However, chances are you already have a website on your main domain name. In that case, you can connect a subdomain, for example, funnels.yourwebsite.com. So let's see how we can configure the connection. If you want to use your main domain, you will need to add the www part to it. And the way we do that is by going to the DNS settings of the domain name and then adding a record that's called a CNAME. In order to set up www.example.com, we will need to create a CNAME. That is the first step. And then the second step, we need to redirect all the traffic that goes to example.com to the www.example.com. And we will see in a bit how to do this in some of the most popular domain name companies. Now, in order to set up a subdomain, for example, funnels.example.com, the setup is even simpler. All you need to do is add a C name to your DNS settings with the name of the subdomain that you want to use. So your settings for the main domain will look like this. You need to set a DNS record with the type C name, the name www, and the value of shop.mylightfunnels.com. And then you need to set up a redirection from yourdomain.com to www.yourdomain.com. The redirection will depend on the company that you're using for your domain name. Each company has a different user interface. So you just need to find the setting for your redirection. Sometimes it's called domain forwarding. So that's for the main domain. If you have a subdomain, all you need to do is one DNS setting and the type is going to be CNAME. The name is going to be the subdomain itself and the value is going to be shop.mylightfunnels.com. Now there is one last setting that you need to add in order to allow LightFunnels to send emails on your behalf so that LightFunnels can send the order confirmation emails to your customers, the checkout abandonment emails to your customers and so on. And that is the following DNS setting. The type will be text, the name will be lf underscore emails, and you can copy the value from your account settings or you can copy it from our documentation. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate this on three different companies. We'll see GoDaddy, Namecheap, and Cloudflare. If you're using any other company, the user interface will be different, but the settings are the same. You just need to look for the DNS settings and for the redirection. All right, so here we are in GoDaddy, and this is the domain name that we want to use here. So for this example, let's connect this domain itself, and not a subdomain, but the domain name itself. First thing we do is we go to Manage DNS. We find the DNS settings here. We will click Add. And for the type, we will put CNAME. For the name, we will put www. And for the value, we will put shop.mylightfunnels.com. We'll add that. And then we need to redirect the domain.com to www.domain.com. And the way we do that in GoDaddy is by going to forward in here. And we will redirect all the traffic that's going to the domain name.com to www.domainname.com. We will save that. If you want to just create a subdomain for your funnels, you click add and then you select a C name and here we enter, for example, funnels and the value will be shop.mylightfunnels.com. And this will create a subdomain for this domain name that is pointing to light funnels. Now, so far we've seen how to set up a domain name in GoDaddy using the DNS setting and the redirection. We've also seen how to set up a subdomain. Now the last step is to create a DNS record for the emails. So let's go back to GoDaddy and then we click add and we'll choose the text type. For the name, it's going to be lf underscore emails. And for the value, you can copy the value from your account or you can copy it from our documentation in here. So come here and copy the value for the email sending like this, add the record. And now we're good to go. And our domain name is ready to be used in LightFunnels. Now the last step would be to go to LightFunnels and then click settings, domains, click add, and then add your domain name here. Click next, and it will verify the connection. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for your DNS settings to show up on light funnels. So if you don't see your settings active here, just give it another try in a few minutes. Okay, let's now go to Namecheap and see how we can connect our domain to light funnels. Here I am in Namecheap, and this is the domain name that I want to connect. And to find your DNS settings, go to Advanced DNS. First thing we want to do is create the CNAME. So 
add new record and choose C name. The host is going to be www and the target is going to be shop.mylightfunnels.com. So that's it for our C name. Since this is a domain name and not a subdomain, we also need to set up a redirection. So for the redirection, we'll go back to the domain tab and we scroll down. So we'll find the redirect domain option and we click add redirect. In here, we'll enter our domain name and on the destination URL, we will enter https colon slash slash www.thedomainname.com like this. All right, so that's it for our redirection. And now we can create the email setting. So go back to advanced DNS and just add a text record for the email. So we we'll look for the text record type and we'll enter LF underscore emails. And if you don't want to make a mistake here, it's, also, it's always a good idea to just copy the values from here. So this is our documentation. You can also find these values on your account settings under the domains tab. So let's copy the value from here and save. All right, so that's it for the Namecheap configuration. If you have a subdomain, of course, you don't need to set up the redirection on the domain tab. All you need to do is set up the uh, C name for your subdomain. Now let's go to Cloudflare and see how we can set up our configuration there. So here I am in Cloudflare and I have this domain name that I want to connect to Light Funnels. So the first thing I want to do is go to DNS and then click add record. In here we'll create our first record that is going to be a C name and it's going to be www. The value or the target is going to be shop.mylightfunnels.com and very important in Cloudflare, you want to disable the proxy. This is because your domain name should be directly connected to Light Funnels without having Cloudflare as a proxy. So click Save. And then for the redirection, you can go to Rules, Page Rules. And in here, we will create a new page rule. And the page rule we want to use is Domain Forwarding. So Forwarding URL. So in here, in the URL, we want to put the domain name scalify.link and we will put a wildcard at the end in order to match all the traffic that's going to scalify.link slash anything and in here we want to redirect it to www.scalify.link.link and at the end we want to put a dollar sign and one this will take anything that's coming after scalify.link in this wildcard and it will put it after www.scalify.link. So this is very specific to Cloudflare, but that's how you set up a redirection at the Cloudflare level. And let's also add the protocol here. So HTTPS colon slash slash. And for the status code, we want to put 301, a permanent redirect. All right, so let's save and deploy this page rule. And that's how you set up a redirection in Cloudflare. Now, the last thing we want to do is, of course, add our email setting. So we we'll click Add Record and we will create a text record here. And the name is going to be LF Emails. And then the value is going to be this. Save. And that's it. That's how we connect our domain name on Cloudflare. Of course, if you have a subdomain, you will do the very same thing, except you will not have to do the redirection. All you need to set up is a DNS record for your subdomain by changing the www to your subdomain and, of course, the email setting. All right, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this video is helpful to you and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.